The casket of Sam Kerr left the funeral home just after 10 a.m. today and was escorted into the Sioni Kami Memorial Church. With a PNG flag placed on the casket, he was received by members of the PNG Defense Force Pipes and Drum Squad who led the procession into the church. Close to 100 colorful woven pandanus mats were laid all the way from the entrance of the church right up to where the casket was laid. This is the traditional way of showing respect by the Gulf people. Prime Minister James Marapeu sat on the front row with all former prime ministers, was the first to pay his tribute on behalf of Papua New Guinea as a nation. In our minds, to guide us to make our own contributions to develop PNG further. Semek, farewell now, and we hope to see you on the golden resurrection morning for the eternal life our Jesus promised in the Bible for those who die believing in Lord Jesus Christ. Semek, rest in peace. Sam Kerr's funeral had brought all members of parliament together from both sides of the house. They were all in black and sat on the same benches. Governor General Grand Chief Sebob Dadai and wife were joined by former prime ministers Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare and Pius Swinti. Also with them were Bougainville president and leader of the opposition. Opposition leader Belden Nama, who saw the former Prime Minister as a mentor, says Semekere was a true champion of good governance and his return to politics in 2017 was a step he took to fight against corruption in Papua New Guinea. In a military jungle, I will say we are going to fight against corruption in the battle against craft, corruption, lack of accountability and transparency in our country. The right honorable Senator Maranta said corruption was, a, was systemic and systematic. He said it was a cancer eating away from all the tributes that was said at the funeral, it was the Bible scripture read by Semekere's son, James Morauta, that captured the hearts of many. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. My rod and my staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Semekere's funeral was well attended by close to 8,000 people. His close friends and former Prime Minister, Sir Rabin Namaliu, read out the eulogy remembering Semekere as someone who loved his country dearly. It is time to reflect on what we have learned from a full life lived well, the life of a good man and great man. A good man who spent his whole adult life 
thinking about and working towards what could be made better for his country. A great man who showed Papua New Guineans that governance as solid as humans. The Makere is survived by wife Roselyn and only son James Morauta. Thekla Gunga, National MTV News.